Hey guys, are you in the market for either a dump truck or dump trailer? You want to know which is the better to get? Well, today stay tuned on this video because I'm going to show you and explain to you what I believe is better in different applications because it all comes down to application and what your goals are. So stay tuned. Enjoy the video. So when we talk about dump trailers, you have a choice. You have the gooseneck or you have a bumper pull. I prefer personally, if you're going to be using a truck, you want to keep your load level. I definitely like to have a gooseneck. And that was my setup before for pulling my 28 foot gooseneck trailer. So I figured a gooseneck for this would be great. Plus it gives you a better turning radius. If you have multiple trucks or maybe you're hooking up to a dump truck or a pinnel hitch, you may want to have just a bumper pull. But it definitely will pull smoother when you have a gooseneck hitch if you're heavy. Now, a lot of times you'll see guys driving and they're overloaded and the truck is hanging down, almost down to an inverted V in here because it's so much weight that's going to get you in a lot of trouble so you're better off again to, to level out your load i think is better with the gooseneck but again it's a choice um, again almost all these dump trailers have battery operated lifts some have scissor lifts some have dual piston lifts you know i like scissor lifts and i have a good heavy duty uh, truck here this thing's a 16k so technically you need a cdl to pull it um, but I had this before I got my CDL, I had it underrated. So it's really rated at 14K, but it is a 16K. And at this point now with the CDL, it really doesn't bother me that much what it is. I just wanted a truck that's going to have more heavy duty uh, capabilities to pull the stuff that I need to. Um, you know, it has dual jacks. Those are helpful too. Um, and overall, I think that you need to look at your application. You know, when I bought this dump trailer, I didn't have... A trailer at all and I wanted something that I can haul manure to sell and maybe some topsoil and I can pretty much get in almost anybody's driveway the problem is this is long and to back into a driveway that's windy it's really hard uh, when they want you to go off road this is where these things are terrible uh, a dump trailer is terrible 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 off road well, meaning if the ground is wet at all and you have a heavy load these tires cut in the ground like a knife and you will sink and you can get easily stuck. So you want to definitely keep your truck on the road pavement before you go off road with these dump trailers when they're loaded heavy. Um, even in the hay fields, when I have to go dump uh, topsoil, topsoil, you know, it's almost a, a ton per yard. So it's very heavy. And you go out in the field and if there's any slight um, moisture on the ground, you can create ruts. So that's, that's really probably my biggest downfall for these is that now as far as uh some of the other benefits you need to look at you know the profile so when i talk profile i'm talking about height here i can have any little tractor else even a 25 horse tractor uh take a loader get over the top of this without boards and they could fill it it might take them an hour and a lot of guys have let load me up with uh, manure and, and so forth they take a long time but th this unit here is a 16 foot trailer it can hold about 10 yards of material without the boards and i can't put boards on this and i haven't done it yet but i really want to my biggest thing for, and where these things shine isn't to haul uh, material like dirt and gravel i think that that just makes it really heavy and you're awkward and one of the worst parts about dump trailers is that if your dump trailer will dump as long as that trailer so if your trailer is 16 foot long you're going to have at least a 16 foot trailer of material if your trailer is 12 foot long you're going to have 12 foot uh, area of material they're very low profiled so when you dump you're not going to be able to get as much material out and it's just going to make a big path uh tarps definitely want one with a tarp i have my tarp is actually longer than the trailer and the reason for this is if I get a high load or I put a load of hay on, I can actually go over the top and have that extra to cover the load. So down the road, if I put sides up, I might put four foot walls up on this to the front and the back to put 100 bales in here. And I want to have enough tarp that can reach over the top and secure the load on top. Uh, that will work out great for me. Uh, where these things shine for me, in my opinion, is that for hauling hay, for hauling logs, because they dump long, uh, as long as the material goes, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, for, for raw material, um, like I said, the biggest problem is the dump load. And the worst part is getting off-road. Those are probably the worst things about them. Now, they come with different options in the back. And let's talk about that here in a second. Now, you can see this trailer has a scissor lift. And I can go a little bit higher. I just don't want to hit the trees. But underneath, you can see that there's ramps. 
that are hidden under here. These are the ramps. And some guys, they take their skid steers that they're smaller and they can load them up and they haul them. Uh, I personally have never loaded my skid steer up in this or a tractor. I guess I'm a little bit of scared. I scared I don't trust these ramps that much and my skid steer is a little bit big for this unit, but um, it, it could haul it. And uh, I think if you've got a 60 or 70 horsepower skid steer, one of the smaller ones, this is a great combination to go in, get a job done, do a clean out and drive it back and forth with your uh, truck. Uh, that, that would be a nice combination. I personally haven't done anything like that yet, um, but it's available. But you can see a little bit of the rust and the dirt that's on here. It's not really that bad, but we did have to do a weld on the bracket there. It did rust off. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm not disappointed. I do get use out of this trailer. It doesn't sit as an ornament in my yard. And I do use it. Unfortunately, though, I don't do this every day. <coughs> so it doesn't get used every day. But it's actually a good unit, and I'm pretty happy I bought it. The one thing I want to talk about with the truck that's pulling your dump trailer is normally it's going to have electric brakes and you better make sure those electric brakes work really well because the heavier the load are you need stopping power and you need the truck that's able to stop on a, the best it can and that's where i like the dump truck a little bit better than this is with air brakes with the cdl is i can lock up and stop very well with a heavy load you know when you pull anything with the dually truck you got to make sure your brake controller is working properly set it accordingly because there is a big difference when you're driving empty versus driving loaded so make sure you have that adjusted and it'll help you a lot and you're a lot more confident in driving also too um, you get a heavy load in if you have an overdrive button if you need to push it off and pull better then use that as well but you know there's opportunities that you need to kind of cover and uh, make sure that you're, you're traveling safe. That's really the best thing I can tell you uh, when you're dealing with a dump trailer is that you're, you're gonna be pulling heavy weight behind here. You wanna be able to make sure that you can handle it. And that's something that you, know, you need to be aware of. Safe driving is gonna be coming to play here when you're loaded heavy. And uh, I always get concerned about that even when I take it on the road, you know, cause you're not gonna have the same stopping power as you would when you're empty. I also have to mention that in dump trailers, there is the aluminum body dump trailer that now are out in the market. They're very, very expensive. But I will bet you a dollar to donuts if you bought one of those, that what you pay for it today, you're going to get your money back 10 to 12 years from now easily. So that might be something you may want to consider if you're buying a dump trailer. Find yourself a good, strong aluminum one. They're going to be lighter weight. You might have better uh, handling capacity, but they will not rust on you and you're going to last a long, long time. You know, that's probably the best investment around anytime you get into aluminums that, you know, just like my Featherlight stock trailer, you know, I probably paid $6,000 for that back in 2000. And I will guarantee you if I put it back on the market, I'm going to get $6,000 for it right now. So that's something you need to pay attention to. And uh, because resale value on equipment is, is something that hurts our pockets. If you're going to put your money into something, you want it to last, not to depreciate. And I think that that would be something I would be looking into. Even if I was buying a flatbed trailer, if I can get an aluminum, I think that might be a better investment than the steel ones because they do rust out real fast. So again, take that in consideration. Uh, there is definitely a price difference, but I think that it's going to last you a long time and you'll get your money back if you choose an aluminum. But there's not many people that I see out there in the market today with aluminum dump trailers, but they do exist. And uh, that might be something that you may want to consider. Now, when I talk dump truck, I'm not always talking about a CDL level dump truck like this single axle. But, you know, you can buy tandem axles and multi-tired dump trucks, really big ones, you know, or I'm talking dump trucks even down to a one ton. Um, the one, there are benefits of the dump truck over the dump trailer, and this is where we're going. I can haul in this dump truck, which is a CDL size truck, 10 yards of material also. The benefit of this truck is that it has tandem wheels and they float over the ground a lot better on wet ground than the dump trailer. And I can take, go onto people's property or on their grass and not rut them up even close. Now you can get stuck because this is not a four wheel drive, but it does not sink into the ground with a heavy load like the dump trailer. And that's the benefit and the opposite of the two. The other thing is this truck is higher in the back end. So when I dump a load, it's gonna dump one big pile, not spread it out. So that's the benefit of that. Um, I can pull better. I still have a tarp that hauls through it. It is a lot higher, so you have to have the right piece of equipment to load you, whether uh, it's my skid steer. It's going to have to at least raise up at least 10 foot. 
And if you can't get 10 foot high and be able to dump over it, you're not gonna get this thing loaded. So you are limited with the equipment that could load this machine. But once you're loaded, this thing travels better. Um, again, I, I, hands down for material like stone, uh, asphalt grindings, dirt, manure, this blows away the dump trailer. And I'm happier with that. Now, this will, will be no good because I have my uh, doors open at the base. Um, they're no good for big logs. I can do firewood, but they're not gonna, this truck is not gonna do me good for hay at all. It's not gonna do good for big logs. Um, I can't put nothing in the back and I'm gonna have to pull a trailer with it, which, which is fine. And, uh, but overall, the dump truck in itself is a single operating unit. So if it breaks down, I can't just switch it off like it can the dump trailer. But ideally though, other than the weight, uh, what's nice is this truck here is air brakes because it is a CDL sized truck. But uh, I think I'm looking even to get myself a one ton dump truck for smaller deliveries. And uh, I think that it's gonna have its advantages because with a truck versus a trailer, I can back into tight places. This truck itself is actually can spin on a dime way better than my dually truck. I can put back into places, people's driveways with no problem. The problem is a truck this big, you have to worry about concrete driveways and snapping the concrete like a potato chip. That's its only limitation. But other than that, I mean, again, this thing has lots of positives when you're just talking about, you know, getting into tight places, dumping. And again, the only other issue is the height. Um, you know, this truck here is over 12 and a half foot tall, just at the top of the dump trailer, uh, on the, of the top of the dump. So I'm gonna have limitations with that. You know, like I told you, with the dump trailer, if I dumped this stone, it would be a long path, almost 16 foot. This is two loads, 16,000 pounds. And you can see how nice and high this pile is coming off the dump truck. And this is one, like I said, this is one of the benefits of the dump truck is your, your material is more in a, in a tight spot. You know, a lot of times I take the dump trailer and I'll, I'll take a load to somebody's yard and they'll have me back up on their concrete and they'll say, dump it here. And then I have to explain to them, you're going to have to have a long tarp because we're going to be, you know, extending that pile a good distance. So just these are things you need to take in consideration. It'll help you out when you start using and, and both of these pieces of equipment. So overall, what's my take on a dump trailer versus a dump truck? Well, basically both of them have their place and if you need to understand which application you're gonna use them for. I love my dump trailer for, like I said, hay and, and big logs, can't beat it. But the biggest negative is going off road or on wet ground. As soon as I hit grass, those, not, those tires cut like a knife and they just are terrible. But as far as like the opportunity of getting it loaded easily, uh, for maneuvering and moving it around with the right uh, truck, it, it hands down is a good piece, good unit, as long as you're set up properly. The dump truck is great for material, meaning like manure, compost, stone, you know, anything of, of that's an aggregate type product. You can't beat the dump truck. It dumps in a big pile and it's a good, better feel to drive it. You know, whether you have a one ton or not, you can't beat these things for the maneuverability. So overall, I like them both. I think they're both good and they both have their place. You just need to get the right application. You know, would I, have, if I had a one ton dump truck versus a dump trailer, what would I choose? Uh, if I had a four wheel drive dump truck, I would probably take the dump truck over the dump trailer. But again, if I was a landscaper, I needed a machine to haul or a, a trailer to haul my machine and also provide me a dumping ability, you can't, you, you can't argue with the dump trailer with the smaller skid steer. So think of your application. Think of what your goals are with that unit before you buy it. And you're better off. But I will tell you, though, that the body of my dump truck is going to outlast that dump trailer probably over the years. And that's unfortunate, but, you know, eventually metal is going to go on that. And I've seen a lot of dump trailers that are really beat down. Uh, the guys got a lot of use out of it, and I think that they pay for themselves over time. So, again, um, Pick what you like and pick what works best for you at that time. But, uh, you know, I'm happy with both. Hopefully uh, somebody got something out of this video. Thanks for watching and uh, be safe out there.